And what do you do if the Robert Carriott goes, well, don't, I can't work that way. I don't work that way. Okay. I have to hang on to this. Yeah. I'm not there yet. Yeah. If the Robert actor starts to get, yeah. what do you do? Well, first of all, you allow actors to not have to watch that. I think it's really important for everyone to have privacy. And not just the person that's having the problem. I just be call breaks. You call break. Oh, OK. Just call a little break. Just take a little breather. Not let I don't I don't like things to escalate because you know it's not it's not just uncomfortable for that person or my team it's uncomfortable for the other actors, and I think that nine times out of ten something else is maybe going on that's not really for public consumption. So I think you know it, it, I, maybe maybe it's because I'm a mom I don't know I, I I'm not going to mother anybody, but it would be the same kind of way I do with my kids. What's going on? We're going to need to talk about it because this can't happen every day. We can't do that every day because we're not going to get anywhere, right? So part of it is like figuring out what's needed. What, what's not, what's, what are they not getting, right? What are they not getting? But at the same time, going back to what you said, and I'll be very honest with you, I also will say what I need. But I actually do that from day one. On our first day of rehearsal, I lay out the expectations in our room. And now we have a lot of other things in place. Character by character, scene by no, scene? just as a room and how we work together. Oh, okay. And now we have other things like room agreements and stuff, which I think is very positive. What's a room agreement? A room agreements, um, a lot of people are, are, have done that initiative of just having the actors agree of how they'd like to work. Right. It's good, you know, I mean, and it's not... Is that a conversation about limits? It's, it's just about how, it's not equity rules, it's not HR, it's... It allows me as a director to just be part of the team sometimes, and so it takes that away. It shifts the power structure of a room so that the actors can say, hey, we agree that if this goes on, someone who runs the room agreement says, you know, I, someone can go to them and say, I don't like the way this actor talked to me or whatever. And then that conversation can happen. And so we without you, without me. That's the room agreement person yeah. and yeah. talking to Mike. Yeah, Sorry, Mike, them, we're landing gives, it all on Mike's shoulders. It gives a group of people agency in the room, right. to feel valued and heard, and and that's a really important part of. This. And what roughly would be a room list of room agreement agreement? Uh, Just think, you know, it being respectful. I mean, there's equity rules like being on time, but that's also could be a room agreement of. Being on time is just showing respect for the right. room and the process. And I, I don't, I, I mean, I honestly, I've done so many and, and they've all been different, you know. Of, it's, it's about it triggering? Is it about? It's, a, it's just, it's about how you speak to people and just agreeing that, that this is how we're going to run our room. We would like to, you know, do A, B, or C. And then if A or B doesn't happen, then they can revisit it. And we revisit the room agreement once a week and say, how's it going? Are we doing okay? Everyone being all right. right. But I also can say, you know, hey, I also need this. So I like that. I like the fact that, you know, I mean, there's been this sort of culture of directors, you know, have all the answers or they make all the decisions. And that's very, you know, 10 times out of 10, not true. You know, we don't have all the answers and we often don't make the decisions. Often, you know, when you work in an institution, it might be whatever the institution's policies are or in commercial theater, there's producers, you know. So so it's a, it's an interesting spot to be in as a director and especially right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, and, so, and sometimes you do, and listen, there's going to be times where it's just not a good fit and you, you know, you. You, you do the show and you, you, you know. You mean the fit of you with the room or the fit of people in the room? Just people with each other. The people with each other. Sometimes I have doesn't. a, there seems to be a couple of factions in this yeah. group here. I can't do anything about the factions. Yeah. But. But you can mix people. I mean, my thing is you don't have to, not everyone has to like each other and go be friends, but they have to be respectful. Right. You know, just lead with respect. Well, I think everyone just needs to be able to go into a room. I mean. That's, that's, that's what it's about, isn't it? It's about allowing people to be set up for success. So make sure all the tools are in place for every single person to come into that room. And that's the big shift of attitude, of inclusive, you know. That means diversity. respect. And making sure we have resources in the room that, that 
people feel included and that people feel that I have someone to talk to, if uh, that I'm comfortable talking to. We, many more people need to be in place for, for um, you know, uh, actors or designers or who, directors right. or whoever to be able to go and say, hey, this isn't feeling great. I, I just think that the shift is what's, what's happening is that there, there isn't this kind of, um, it's this way or no way, you know? It, it, there's that was the old that. world, right? That was yeah. the Michael Langham world. That yeah, was and the. I, and I honestly, because I, I came up through the ranks in that world, it's not a world I've ever had in my room.